This is Clint at PlymouthCooter.com. I've got something really exciting that I want to show you guys. One, two, three, here it comes. Okay, what we have here is not a Plymouth. I understand this. It is not a Plymouth. It is not a CUDA. I know this is PlymouthCuda.com. I know it's not a CUDA. I know it's not an E-body, but it's very special. So I decided, you know what? This is worth a video. If you guys don't like it, I apologize in advance, but hey, it is a real Daytona, people. 1969 Daytona. Just look at this thing. It is very good condition. This car is so mint. It sat since I believe 1972. I talked to the owner and this car is very solid. Yes, it has age, but it just sat. These are just age. This is just the wear of just sitting around and all the dust. Just check this thing out. Very solid, very solid Daytona. Look at the bottom. I mean, look at that. Do you see any rust? Heck no. Look how solid that is. This car is really nice. So I had to come over. They said, hey, why don't you come over, Clint, take a look at our car. I said, sure, sure. What car you got? Oh, no big, big deal. It's just a Daytona. I, mean, I said, what? What? Uh, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> and again, I had to say, excuse me. It's a Daytona. Look at that. Wow. This is definitely one of my dream cars. I do not have one, and I would love to have one one day, but uh, not right now. Let's take a look at the trunk. Look at that amazing, enormous wing. That's cool. It is a little bit dark in here, so I apologize. Guys, the trunk is very solid. It's a solid trunk. There's no very, just some pitting in there. It's very solid. If you look you can even see it has the plastic coverings for the rear lights so much of this car is all here i mean it's in great shape let's open up the door let's check out the interior check out this interior now this is original interior everyone look at this original interior look at the shape it's in i mean that should tell you right there the quality of this car i mean how solid it is this car is in beautiful shape i mean look at the dash pad the dash pad is in mint shape. I just, I don't know what else to tell you. Let's, let's look at the console. Look at that console. Hopefully you can see the quality of the console. There's no pitting in the console. I mean, the interior is immaculate. You can even see up there, oh, that was a mosquito or something. That was nice. I'm so glad it jumped right in the film. The headliner is in pretty good shape. This car is amazing. A Daytona period is amazing, but on top of that, how solid this is, is amazing. Man, it shuts very well, very solid car. Take a look at this. Again, you've got the scoops here. The original brakes, see these? Right here, this is what would come on 1969. They changed it in 1970. They went to a different braking system, different uh, calipers. A lot of these things were used on 440s and Hemi cars. This car, of course, was a 440 car. Um, so it, it would have came with these. You've got the, uh, you can even see, look at these right here. Look at this. The rotors, two piece rotors. I mean, that's the way it was. That's the way they came, two-piece rotors. It's not somebody came in and replaced the rotors and put the one-piece on. That, those are the two-piece. It's, look at the, I mean, it's all here. Very nice car, very solid. Let's take a quick look at the engine bay. Power steering, look at that. Looks like a Bendix set up here for the, uh, for the uh, disc brakes. We've got the original wiper motor. Look at that. I mean, this, this thing is clean. The engine, from what I understand, is, is out and it's uh, being, uh, they're rebuilding it right now. So that's why they took it out of the car. They just picked this up recently. You have a few dings here in the front. This nose normally is a very tough piece, but look how good shape, what good shape this nose is in. I mean, this nose is in great shape. Those are very hard things to come by, is finding these noses. 
in especially good shape. Look at that. The other side of the car. Very solid, very solid. Let's take a look here from this side of the car. Let's take a look at the engine bay, get a different view. What a nice car, that is cool. 69 Dodge Daytona, amazing. Here's another shot of the Dodge Daytona, the interior. I wanted to get a shot here. There's a lot of little bugs and different things in here, so they'll probably be in my, they're just flying around in the video. They wanna, you know, they wanna get in the video too, so I gotta give them a break. But look at the interior, this interior is original. That's the in original interior, and it's in great shape. So that also just tells you what the condition of this Dodge Daytona is in. I mean, it's amazing. Look at the dash pad. The dash pad is in great shape. That's amazing. I love it. It's so nice to see a car that's preserved. If you look at the console, this console does not have any pits. It's a little dirty here and there, but that's not pits. So it's just a little bit of dirt. I mean, this console's solid. Very cool car, very nice. Here's the back seat. Look at the back, look at that. It's in great shape, what a great car. So I was told this is the engine to the Dodge Daytona, the 69 Dodge Daytona. I was told it's the numbers matching engine. That is awesome, I mean that is really cool. So what I did was I came over here and I kind of wiped this off right here. Let's look down on the pad. And if you look at the pad right there, Right there, it says E, E440. That would be for a 1969 car. So, this is awesome. Look at this. Look at the intake. Look at that. 1969 date code. Wow. It has the exhaust manifolds on it. original exhaust manifolds. What a cool thing to see is numbers matching engine for the Dodge Daytona. Okay everyone, I want here again on this Dodge Daytona, just look at the undercarriage of this car. Look how solid this car is. Look at that. Look how solid this car is. It's amazing. Look at the tunnel. I mean, there's, there's no rust. This thing is so solid. It's in great shape. Let's take a closer look here. Look at that, look at the frame. Look along the body, look at the undercarriage. I mean, the undercarriage is in great shape. The exhaust is a little bit in my way, so I apologize if you can't see that. There's the frame rail. This thing, you would expect some rust. No, this thing's been sitting for years. And let's check this out. There you go, look at that proportioning valve. This is something you don't see all the time in a lot of cars. So this has the two piece proportioning valve. If you look up here, let's see if I can get to that proportioning valve set up. There's the, there's the first piece right there for the disc brakes and you come down here and you've got the second piece right here for the proportioning valve. I had this on a Hemi charger as well. Very solid car, very nice. Just look at the floor pans. This thing is amazing. I mean, wow. It's just amazing. What a car. Got a little bit of damage right here. Just looks like maybe somebody was towing it or something and they pulled a little bit harsh right here, but that's no big deal. That happens all the time. But other than that, this, this thing is solid. I mean, this is such a solid car. This is amazing to see a car in this, in this good of shape. Look at the floors, I mean, wow. Take a look here at the floors, wow. I mean, those are in great shape. Look at the floors, look at the trunk. Look at the trunk, you can look underneath here. 
can see all the sides of the trunk here next to the gas tank. It's very solid, very solid. Look at the floors up here, very solid car. Look at the wheel wells. I mean, the wheel wells are in great shape. This car is 1969, very old, older than me, and I am sitting here just amazed at the condition of this. Most cars like this are rusty or they have, um, you know, rust or rip pit, big holes in the trunk. The trunk's solid. Got an eight and three quarter rear end. If you notice the leaf springs there, those are the 440 Hemi leaf springs. Here they are as well. Those would be the, uh, some people call them the five and a half and six leaf leaf springs or the, I consider them six leaves on both sides really, but I believe one leaf is shorter than another, so that's why they call it that. But those are the, uh, the springs that you put on a 440 or a Hemi. Very cool, very nice car. Wow. 1969 Dodge Daytona. Let's take a look at the trunk of this Dodge Daytona. Let's see what this floor pan looks like from inside. Look at that. Look at the floors, look at that trunk. Oh my gosh, look how solid this is. Wow. Looks like maybe minor pitting, but you can even see the color. You know, there's not a whole lot of rust. That's surface rust. This thing is so solid. Look at that. You even have the inspection mark still. It's amazing. You can see the overspray right there. See how those have the overspray on them? That's why they're painted. It's pretty, it's really nice. This is nice to see. Again, another inspection mark down there. Wow, look at that. What a solid car. This car is amazing. Very solid. I sure wish that they would sell me this car or work something out, but you know, you can't have every car you want to own, I guess. Maybe one day I'll have one. This is a nice, very nice car. Very clean.